you have an Insignia Smart TV, the Fire TV Edition, and you have an issue with one of your apps that's not working, it doesn't matter what app, it could be Sling, Netflix, could be a YouTube app, could be a Prime Video app, could be HBO, Disney Plus, it doesn't matter. As long as it's not working, maybe it's just not loading, or maybe it's not opening, maybe it's just stuck on buffering, perhaps it's frozen or unresponsive, maybe you get the black screen when you try to get into the app, or maybe you get some kind of error code. Anyways, I'm going to give you guys seven solutions to get you back up and running right now. Step number one, I want you guys to make sure your TV is on and go ahead and unplug it while the TV is on. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the plug on here, take it out of the wall socket or your surge protector. Wait one minute. After one minute is up, go ahead and plug it back in. Then turn your TV back on. Once the DV is completely booted back up, then go ahead and go to the app that wasn't working and open up and hopefully you guys are up and running now okay if you're not we're going to go to the next step here so for the next step what we're going to do again we're going to go ahead and unplug the tv while it's on go ahead and pull the plug now now i want you to go to wherever your modem slash wireless router is okay and what, what i want you to do is unplug it okay so for me here in the office i have a modem and a router separate however like at home, I have one wireless modem that's a router as well. If you just have that one device, go ahead and just unplug it. For me, I have a router and a modem. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug both of these. Wait five minutes. After five minutes is up, then I'm going to go ahead and plug it back in. So wait five minutes. After five minutes is up, go ahead and plug in your router and your modem. And now also, go ahead and plug your back your TV as well. Plug that in. Go ahead and grab your remote. Turn it on. Now the thing that you want to do is once your TV is on, you want to wait about five more minutes and just wait for the uh, internet to connect and all that. So wait another five more minutes. After five minutes is up, then go ahead and go back into the app that wasn't working. Open it up and hopefully you are up and running. If you're not, we're going to go to the next step. So for this next step, what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if there's a software update on your Insignia TV, okay? So first thing is just go ahead and grab your remote, click on the uh, home button. And then what you can do from here is you can slide all the way down to settings. And then go ahead and press down on the remote. And now you want to move all the way over. Keep going over to the right hand side and go down to where it says device and software. Okay, highlight that. Go ahead and click on OK on your remote. And now from here, you want to go ahead and select About, click on Enter, and then you want to go down to where it says Check for Updates, okay? So go ahead and click on OK, check for the update, okay? Now if there is an update, go ahead and download it and install it and then open up the app and the app that wasn't working, hopefully you're up and running, okay? With me, I already have the, the current version, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step if it's if the update and install didn't work, we're going to go to the the, uh, the next step. Of course, if it's if your software's already up to date, then you still got to move to the uh, next step. So for this next step, what we're going to do is we're going to reset your network. In other words, we're just going to log off your uh, Wi-Fi internet and then log back in. Okay, very very simple to do. So first thing is go ahead again, click on the uh, home button on your remote, and then again we're going to move all the way down to settings. And then go ahead and move down. And then you want to go ahead and move all the way to the right to where it says network right there. You can see it says network. Go ahead and click on enter on your remote. And now you want to go ahead and find your network that you connected to. Okay, you can see I'm connected to this ITSH guess. It says connected. Now what I want to do is go to the remote and the three horizontal lines right here. You want to go ahead and click that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. And now if you look on the uh, bottom right hand side, it says press select to confirm for getting ITSH guest. So grab my remote. I'm going to go ahead and select it. Just click on the enter button on the remote. And now you can see I am logged off. Okay. Now what you got to do is go ahead and log back in. So next thing is log back in. So you got to find your network on here. My network is not on here. So I'm going to go ahead and go down 
to where it says see all networks click on the enter and then that same network I was connected to earlier ITSH is right here go ahead and select that oops not that one let me go back ITSH guest is okay here it is so go ahead and click select go ahead and enter your password after you have your password in here go ahead and go down to connect press on enter hopefully that's the right okay that is the correct password now it says connect it there now go ahead and go back to the app that wasn't working open it up and hopefully you are up and running now if not we're going to go to the next step so for this next step here what we're going to do is we're going to go to the app that you were having issues with and we're going to go ahead and we're going to clear the cache okay so very very simple so again go ahead and tap on your home button on the remote slide all the way over to settings then go ahead and move down and now you want to go ahead and move over to the right and select applications hit the enter button on the remote and now we're going to go down to where it says manage installed applications click on enter next thing you want to do is you want to find the app that you're having issues with okay for instance let's say you're having uh, issues with Netflix go ahead and go to Netflix app and then go ahead and press on enter now what we want to do from here is the first thing we want to do is go down to where it says clear cache okay go ahead and uh, click on the OK button on your remote and then you should see cache should say zero on the bottom right hand side okay as soon as that's done now just go ahead and go directly up launch application let that particular app launch see if it works hopefully you're back up and running if not we're going to go to the next step so the next step what we're going to do is instead of uh, clearing the cache like we did on the previous step this time we're going to go ahead and clear the data so click on your home button again and we want to go all the way over to settings go down one and then same place again we're going to go down to where it says applications go ahead and select on that now go down to manage installed applications again press on enter now go to the app that you're having issues with again let's just say for me it's Netflix I'm gonna to go to Netflix and I'm gonna go ahead and press on the enter button and now what I'm gonna do is go down here and last time we did clear cache this time we're going to go ahead and clear data okay now let me let me go ahead and tap on clear data now with clear data if you read on the right, right hand side it says uh, all application data will be deleted permanently this includes all files settings accounts and database so in other words once we clear the data what we're going to have to do is go back to your particular app and then you have to input your like login and your password to get in there okay anyways we're on clear data right now I'm gonna go ahead and select it okay data has been cleared now let me go ahead go back and launch the app and I will have to input my uh, my username and my password so for Netflix I will have to sign in again put in my login information in okay so I just entered my password and my username after you do that go ahead and relaunch the uh, app that wasn't working and hopefully you guys are up and running if not we're going to go to the next step so the last and final step I have for you is to reset the factory defaults okay in other words once we do this you're going to lose everything on the TV and it's going to be as if you bought it brand new took it out of the box and then you have to set uh, set up your Wi-Fi again your password you need to sign in to your other apps Netflix Amazon Prime HBO and whatnot okay so just take note you will lose all information as if um, once it's done with the factory reset you'll be back to you know the very beginning you have to choose your language your Wi-Fi password you have to log into all your apps anyways if you want to proceed there click on the home button we're going to go all the way down to where it says settings go ahead and move down one then move over to the right and we're going to go all the way over to where it says device and software right here enter on the remote and now if we go all the way down to the very bottom right here it says reset the factory defaults go ahead and click on OK reset the factory defaults you are about to reset your TV to its original factory settings your sign information and personal preference will be lost okay no problem I'll just have to re-sign in to all my apps but go, move over to reset click on the uh, OK button now it says resetting TV to defaults so give us a second here 
Your TV is powering off, it says. TV is booting back up now. It says resetting your Fire TV. Booting back up. Still waiting on the screen right now. I've been waiting for about like five minutes. Keep on waiting. Finally, so that took like six minutes. Now it's finally booting back up here. And here we go. So first thing we got to do is select uh, in, uh, select your language and whatnot. Now take note, th these Insignia TVs are notorious known for when you do a 5G reset and you get to the choose your language, you're not able to move up or down to choose a language. If, if, even if I press the enter button, it's not working. To get out of this, what you need to do is hold the home button for 15 seconds. So press and hold the home button for 15 seconds. Just wait. After 15 seconds, you, you should hear something that sounds like ear, ear, like a big beep. And now I can proceed with the setup. Okay, so any questions or issues, comment below. If this worked for you, let me know which step worked for you. If it didn't work for you, uh, just give me a thumbs down. All right.